it might not seem very long because it is technically within the week of the release, but I've been trying to get to this song specifically for like days now that I couldn't or I just didn't have time or I was busy. We are reacting today to Missing You, the new song by the incredible vocalist Tori Kelly that I have adored for, I'm not even kidding, like a decade, I think. She is just talent. Vocally speaking, she's amazing. I have loved all of her projects. I, she's literally the only artist I paid to take a picture with. Uh, I mean, that probably says a lot. Today, we're reacting to her new single that just came out last Friday, which comes with a music video as well, so we're gonna be reacting to it. I've been trying to dodge, like, literally any and every spoiler. Like, I've been curving them, like, left and right, because they're just everywhere. My whole TikTok feed were clips of the song. Uh, on social media, I saw all of her teasers. I know that the music video is like 90s inspired. Honestly, from the few images that I saw, it looked amazing. Today is a two for one special. We're doing a song and a music video. Let's get into it. Oh, very throwback. Oh my god, with the strings too, that sounds so good. Hold on, okay, hold on. Oh my god, so many different thoughts at the same time. It's a 90s, like, R&B song, early 2000s, mixed with a UK garage beat. I, I was really caught off guard by the beat. I really didn't expect it. Also, her tone, just the way that her voice breaks without breaking, it sounds so good. Like it's so clean it, and and the way she was like the, the the flow of the words it really is unlike anything we've heard from Tori Kelly in terms of like official releases right because her first album was very poppy very like guitar singer songwriter turned into early pop star kind of that transition then her second album that I absolutely adored inspired by true events was very very singer singer songwriter and I, I mean, I love it. I love it. Even her her EP, Hiding Place, which is a gospel album, and I'm not that much into gospel albums. Like, honestly, there's literally nothing that she does wrong, but this is different. This is different. I guess that's also why she decided to change her hair color. Like, that, we're, we're really heading into different, like, a different world, a different sound from her. Oh, that's a lot. Then. Again, okay. Okay. Whoa. <laughs> it literally feels like she took 72 different genres and put them together in the same song. It's like mind boggling, but also so interesting. If feels kind of like a Y2K, but it's infused with like R&B, and then we have the choir situation happening at the end, and then the guitar, like acoustic sections of it, um, but the UK garage like in the dance field. It's like a merging of so many different genres together because of the different instruments that they pull from and the different elements. Like the beat is one thing, the instrumentation is another. It feels like, um, <laughs> It's gonna sound so stupid. You know how they're making a prediction of what like humanity will look like by 2050 because of like everybody's like ethnicities and nations are like obviously intertwining each other and like traveling all over the world because it's easier. And so they're predicting like a type of like average looking person in 2050 as the you know different ethnicities continue to mix. It's like that but with a song with music and genre. You might not get it. I don't expect you to understand what I mean. I don't know why my brain went there. I'm hoping I don't get canceled for some reason or another that I'm not aware of. But seriously, that's how it feels. Like, that's how the song is such a blender of different genres. 
that it's a lot to wrap my head around, but it's also very, very cool. I feel like she came in to like hit with a statement piece that obviously won't necessarily represent the entirety of her next album, but it was sent out to draw attention and to, to say, hey, some like this is a different era. Like we're heading into something new. If music was clothing, this is a statement piece. Probably not to everybody's liking. It's not a traditional pop. It's not necessarily similar-ish to what we heard from Tori in the past, but it's a welcome to a new era type of song. Now let's watch the music video that comes with it. That is going to be visually filled as well. I think very colorful. Oh, it's like young Tori when she was young and doing covers on YouTube at the time. She looks so good as a brunette. It's definitely a performance video, performance based. But it looks visually stunning. That is so different for Tori. Whoa! She looks amazing in these genres. In these genres, these styles. With choreography like that too? What people don't understand necessarily is that choreography does not mean a dance choreography. It's just like a series of movements timed to the music that you need to memorize and repeat shot after shot, right? Literally, like when you're filming a music video or just like a movie or anything, it's not a one shot, one take situation. Like you're redoing the same scene, the same Thing, 10, 15, 20, 30 times easily because you redo it with a different camera angle. You do it with a different like lens. You do it closer as like to get a close up or further away to get like more of a landscape. Like you redo the same thing so many different times. Therefore you need choreography to repeat the same thing to give the same uh, final product every single time that you take a shot. Choreography is keeping it consistent in terms of movement, but you need to repeat, memorize, and, and perform it the same way over and over and over again. Tori is more like a vocalist. She she performs with a guitar, a mic, so it's not often that we see her in the context of having to perform like that more in a pop sense, like pop star direction. Honestly, suits her well. It really does. It suits her really well. And serving vocals in a song like that. I'm... Uh, hold on, give me a minute. Okay, here I go. I feel like this was a music video performance based for a short song that is really the introduction to the era. And they know that it is, like I said, a sort of like statement piece that will put Tori back on the map. That being said, I think that they're going to go with a strategy where it's not meant to be a single that has a long lasting impact, say like Flowers by Miley Cyrus, um, whose single is topping the charts ever since it was released as a first single. My guess is that the strongest single of the album will be the second single, and that's when there, there's going to be an announcement for the album because it's more of an attention grabber that she released and the real banger is gonna come the next time around. The single that probably has the most likelihood of scoring on the radio is going to be the sec second single. That is my feeling. I, I don't know, I'm taking a while, well, educated guess. That's what I'm doing. Aesthetically speaking, it's an amazing video. Like, I, I love the looks, I love the design of it, I love the, 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 the outfits, the colors, name it. But it wasn't that major, uh, it wasn't a high, high production video. But that being said, I like it. I, I like both. The aesthetics are amazing, she looks incredible. And the song is really, really good. It's so interesting and I don't think it's necessarily like immediately sweeping me off the floor as in I love it, but it will definitely grow on me. And I'm curious as to how it will live through time. Like what's the lifespan of that song?
Like, am I going to be listening to it in a year's time? So this was my reaction to Missing You by Tori Kelly, both the song and the music video. I know I didn't dive too much into the lyrics. I think I'm gonna wait until I have an album so I can like understand the positioning in the album and the storytelling of it. But regardless, that was a really cool moment. Every 30 years, trends tend to return. And so technically having passed in 2020 that would mean that tech anything from the 90s would be coming back i think it was delayed because of the pandemic we should have seen the 90s come like trends come back much faster like 2021 2022 but because of the the pandemic it kind of slowed everything down so i'm assuming that within the next two years we're going to see a lot of like 90s elements come back and resurface if they already haven't and uh yeah it's so, I, I don't want to say out of character, but it's definitely an untraditional Tori that we just saw. And I, I like the fact that she's exploring like that and trying out and diversifying her music. I'm really curious as to how the album is going to sound. If you like this reaction, don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell notification, and I'm really curious to see what you guys think about it. And last but not least, like the video if you want. Uh, it's, it's if you want. Yeah, if you want. <laughs> okay, maybe I need some sleep now. In any case, I hope you guys are doing well. I'll see you next time in another reaction video. Bye.